not my first time for being the club champion. The two important or the three important things is to not get your pigeons fattened. The South African fans here in the world is extremely underrated. Uh, Fred van Jerden, I'm racing in the BPU, Walpost uh, and uh, in the club, in Fuleni club, where uh, I, I participated in the last few years. In 2023, I was club champion, second union um, club champion. Is good if you consider that within the VP union, we've got under the four, first four places, we've got three guys in our club. So we're an extremely strong club. So doing, doing very well, our club in the union, and a very nice bunch of, of guys that we are competing against. It's not my first time for being the club champion. Uh, since the club started, I've been club champion two years out of the three years that we are up and running. And uh, doing exceptionally well. As I've said, we are a strong club doing well overall within the VPU and as a club we would like to maintain that. Bloodlines that I am racing and prefer to race with at the moment, uh, bloodlines that have come uh, quite a long way with me was Janssens and Van Rijnklux. And then recently I added Sablon Tom Lock Pigeons and as a threesome they are complementing one another very nicely. Very important for me is to, to keep a line pure. So like uh, the Janssens with my breeding, I make sure that I have a, a pure line of Janssens, Van Rijns, and then I cross them with Sablons or whichever. I feel that it's working for me at the moment and uh, top performances that the pigeons are getting and I'm grateful for that. Okay, this bird is basically a Janssen van Rijn and a Sablon cross. And breeding them that way, they are racing extremely well for me. Uh, he won two clubs and, and also both two races were under the top 10 of the union and numerous other places. And his consistency is what I liked about him. He's very well muscled. Nice wing and very well balanced. That's what I like in the pigeon. A nice eye, a nice yellow eye to go to everything else that I require. Yes, so as I said, pure bread from the Rhine. What I do is I like to keep a strain pure and then I cross them out with whatever I have. The either Janssens or the Van der Rijn's back and then also with the sablons and the tom locks. The sablons and the tom locks are one separate entity. Yeah. For the upcoming season, what I've planned is maybe go a, diff a little bit different this year than previous years. I have decided to uh, go to the efficient microbes, uh, natural products. Uh, adding a lot of probiotics to, for the pigeons and also for the plumage for the pigeons that is very important. I hope it will work and um, as I believe at this stage of, of the season the two important or the three important things is to not get your pigeons fattened or over fat because then you will struggle if you start with the season training uh, to keep them extremely healthy, for example, external and internal parasites, 
If you don't do that, you will struggle. And um, then obviously, as I said, with the feeding, not to get them too fat. Um, and that is in the off season what I'm doing now. I've uh, given, them, given them a shot of ivermectin uh, at uh, point zero 0.01 mils per pigeon. And that is basically to get rid of the parasites, internal and external parasites, this, this time of the year. Carrying on with that, the, I believe the vaccinations is important. If you, if you haven't done your vaccinations, you will struggle in the season. I think it's extremely good to see to it that you do your vaccinations. Uh, all pox, Paramixu, Newcastle, and whatever vaccines is available and good for the pigeons. As far as South Africa is concerned, I do believe that the South African fanciers in the world is extremely underrated. And it's not the world's fault. It's, I think it's quite seriously our own fault where we do believe that important pigeons is always better than our pigeons that we do have in, in the country. I, I believe that on the countryside, there is guys with extremely, extremely good pigeons and they are uh, missed by the fraternity uh, because they are living on the countryside and not close to the cities, etc. Um, so overall, I'd like to believe that uh, the quality of the South African pigeons are very good. All in all, I think a good, healthy pigeon, trained well, fed well, and kept healthy would do the thing for you, if it's a quality pigeon. That is basically the priority. It has to be some quality stuff that you have in your stock loft. If you don't, you will miss out. Um, maybe just going a little bit back to why I do prefer a strain to be as close as possible, related to one another, um, then you can cross out and always, always go back to your original line. If you don't do that and then cross, you're going to miss out on your good pigeons. At the end of the day, you would go up and down and not maintain a high level performance throughout a period of five to 10 years, which is important. Thanks to the pigeon Davenies for this opportunity. Uh, I highly appreciate it. And I'm uh, honestly, it's, it's a privilege for me, you guys coming here it's a privilege and an honor to be part of the pigeon fraternity in South Africa. And uh, I'd like to maintain that for another few years before uh, we call it a day. So God bless and thank you very much.